as someone like Miley Cyrus or Demi Lovato or Selena Gomez? Certainly not uh, at the level of a Justin Bieber just yet. Uh, but I think that with the reputation she has rapidly earned, uh, nothing but success is going to come her way. And you're going to hear that near the end of the show when we play L.A. Boys for you. It's available on the Victorious Season 3 soundtrack. And if you haven't seen any episodes from Season 3, there are so many different episodes from Wanko's Warehouse to Three Girls and a Moose, which was the episode in Season 3 that the single uh, was featured on after the three actresses were turned down by a Canadian actor who played Beck's friend. And they went uh, from uh, loving Canadian guys to L.A. guys. A pretty uh, unique way to introduce this song as one of the latest singles. Uh, I probably would have uh, liked to have seen it introduced in a more effective way with a better storyline, but uh, the writers and the producers of the show did the best they could uh, with what they were able to work with. And it was a good 22-minute show without commercials. Now, if you haven't seen it, it is on YouTube, and I'll be tweeting it on our Twitter. You can also download several torrents of some of the recent shows uh, from Season 3 of Victorious. Uh, seemingly, that's all I've done uh, over the last year when I have a bit of free time is check up on the show Victorious. Uh, it's absolutely admirable uh, watching how much promotion, especially the actors and the actresses, get out of this show. Usually you leave it up to the producers uh, and the company uh, that is financially backing this behind the scenes to uh, give it the promotion that it needs to uh, attain success. But this show is one of the few rare shows that have the actors and the actresses, the entire cast really, promoting it with consistent tweeting, frequent Facebook wall posts. Uh, it's been so fun. And we have joined their conversation on Facebook at facebook.com slash victorious and Twitter at Victorious. It's just fun uh, watching that. The Slab.com, the official website of the TV series Victorious also can have their conversation join on Facebook and they can be followed on Twitter as well. The actors and the actresses have their own individual Facebooks and Twitter accounts. Victoria Justice has over 2 million followers on uh, Facebook and over 2 million followers on Twitter as well, uh, decisively. And uh, that was the last statistic the last time, really, I checked up on Victoria Justice's social media statistics in a combination of over 4 million uh, Facebook fans and Twitter followers. That is incredible. And I think that she's only going to achieve more success because of her statistics. Her statistics certainly puts into perspective uh, how phenomenal she has become. And you're going to hear that uh, with LA Boys here today. Now, when I first heard uh, LA Boys, one of the things that jumped out about me uh, was how Ariana Grande contributed to this song so effectively. And I was really let down uh, because I went back through all the songs that have previously been released for Victorious, and it is extreme rarely that we hear uh, Ariana Grande on any singles. Really the only time we hear her is when a uh, song is collaborated by the entire cast. There has been only two, uh, with this one being the most recent, making up two sequels that feature um, Ariana Grande, and that's really disappointing because I think that uh, we should have really gotten more reprieves from hearing the same two actors and actresses, two to three actors and actresses in different singles, uh, different singles with the same actors and actresses. I think that you have one of the most talented casts uh, in entertainment right now for a children's program. Every one of them can act. Every one of them can sing. There is not one actor or actress on Victorious that cannot sing, and I think that is a tremendous quality. You take into consideration uh, a show like uh, I Curly and Big Time Rush that have their singing limited, and uh, most of the show's production is devoted to acting. But Victorious incorporates so many crucial factors of a children's program that is as unbelievable, and that is the reason why it has achieved so much success. In 2012, it won favorite television show for kids at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. It's won several other awards, including several past Kids' Choice Awards. And because of its success, I think that uh, it's definitely going to have nothing but a prominent future. And to say that this is it for Victorious, because they've gotten three uh, seasons in, they produced over 50 episodes, I think that is absolutely ludicrous. And if you believe that this is it for Victoria Justice, I have this to say to you in response. 
it's only just the beginning. You look at how talented she's been uh, with some of the cast members of Victorious, both the actors and the actresses, especially the actresses who join Victoria Justice on some of these singles. Uh, there was one for an edition of Victorious called Tori and Jade's Playdate, where they sang about always being hit on guys at noses. Uh, that was incredible. And this one, where they sang at the karaoke doki bar for the first time since season one, uh, was absolutely astonishing, and you will be blown away. Now, I am inviting you to tell me what you think of this single premiering for the first time on HEW Entertainment Radio. I've been speaking about this for several past video commentaries on my YouTube channel. I haven't got around to playing it yet because we have so many new singles from One Direction uh, to... Uh, the new one by Nicki Minaj we're playing, so we never got around really to uh, playing this one. This is going to be the inaugural time. We're going to spin this track, so we're inviting you to let us know what you think of this new song. In injunction with that, uh, we want you to let us know what you think of other singles that have recently premiered on HEW Entertainment Radio. Information will scroll across your screen for the YouTube edition of this show on how you can get in contact with me. Hit me up on social media so you can let me know what you think of some of these tracks and LA Boys is one of the more recent ones. You can also pick up the album for Victorious, all the music from the show 2.0. It's available in stores now and it's also available for download on iTunes for a small fee. And if you pick up an iTunes card, it's definitely worth spending the few dollars on your iTunes card for. I have nothing but positive things to say about it. And again, I want to thank everybody uh, who joined in on this project, this campaign, if you would, to land Victorious in this primetime deal on YTV in Canada. Canadian fans of the show Victorious, despite all the Canadian remarks that we hear on the show, have got to be thrilled that Victorious can now be seen for the first time in a few years since its premiere in 2010 in primetime. It was done first in a trial and error basis at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Thursday, and then it was aired in its regular time slot on Friday with a repeat airing on Sunday with an occasional marathon on Saturday, and they cut it back and gave it a little break, gave it a little bit of a reprieve, and then they brought it back again from Monday to Thursday in various time slots that seem to be pretty frequent, and it was because of the overwhelming fan support the show received, along with all the support our campaign featured here on HEW Entertainment Radio, and I cannot thank you enough, because without you guys, this never would have been made possible. Uh, following the announcement that the show had been uh, in prime time for a while, I thanked YTV in a past video archive you can view on this YouTube channel, and I also wrote about it for In This Corner with Jonathan Clark. And you know when I put something over in my written column, you know that I believe it has a lot of prosperity, and I am very grateful uh, that something came into fruition finally for something that I've been preaching about uh, for a while. I've been no stranger to talking about Victorious. There are literally hundreds of Jonathan Clark Victorious video commentaries on YouTube. It feels that way, uh, at least, uh, because I believe this show definitely has one of the most prominent futures out of any show past or of novelty uh, with Nickelodeon. How to Rock certainly does not have as prominent of a future as Victorious and all of its cast members because uh, I don't really know too much about some of the newer shows from Nickelodeon. I'm not saying they won't have prominent futures, but it just doesn't seem like they're as interesting as some of the past shows like iCarly, Big Time Rush, and now uh, Victorious. And the good thing is, with iCarly finishing things up and finally taking a backseat with repeat airings of uh, past shows from the iCarly ar iCars, the thing about it is now that uh, Victorious will no longer be uh, on the back burner. They will finally get the promotion that they deserve. One of the cool things about this little campaign that we developed last year, it'll be a year next month, is that we got more promotion for the show, more advertising during regular YTV programming hours. And because of that, the ratings of Victorious have shot through the roof. If you go on different entertainment news forums, they are talking about it more. Uh, she's receiving more publicity because one thing that I uh, alluded to in a letter that I wrote to YTV was, if you consistently put something over, you're almost guaranteed that you're going to have success. And if you put your most highly rated and talked about shows in the way of publicity in a blog for television at least four times out of a seven-day week cycle, you're guaranteed your ratings will increase. They tried it on a trial and error basis because of the success with the ratings and because of a recent interview done for One to One on YTV with Victoria Justice. The show has received nothing but success and they've been able to maintain that primetime slot on Mondays 
at 7 p.m. Eastern and 6.30 Eastern Tuesday through Thursday for an entire year and I think because of that it's only going to achieve more success and go on to win more awards. The 2013 Kids Choice Awards, speaking of the Kids Choice Awards from last year and how phenomenal the results of the show were, happen in April so you can cast your votes by going to Nick Com. A lot of celebrities were up for Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards, and deservingly so. And because of the success of last year's show and all the interviews I saw on YouTube where celebrities were talking about their uh, hopes for the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards and some things they had coming up in 2013, I can only imagine how successful the 2013 Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards are going to be. You can see a past archive from the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards in 2012 on this YouTube channel and we'll have a complete review of award winners from the 2013 Kids Choice Awards when they touch down the first week in April. You can also go to nick.com for additional information. There's already been several announcements on this year's highly anticipated award show which I'm sure Victoria Justice will be attending and the cast of iCarly as well for one of their final appearances at a Nickelodeon event. Uh, there's got to be a lot of conversation now for Victoria Justice on social media because of how many followers she has on Twitter especially she's up there with some of the most followed celebrities on Twitter and she has had her conversation joined by millions of fans especially her TV show Victorious and if you had to give credit to anyone uh, for the success of Victoria Justice it would have to be really two contributing factors the show and the phenomenal script and the fans who continuously are supporting her because they believe her to be uh, one of the greatest of all time. And I have said this a lot of times that you may have noticed some of my posts on Victoria Justice's wall on Facebook at facebook.com slash Victoria Justice. I believe her to be uh, one of the future greatest of all time because of her previous successes and the successes she has yet to accomplish. Uh, there is so much potential uh, behind her it is unbelievable and I just wish some of the producers and some of the creative minds at Nickelodeon where she is currently signed to uh, for an additional few years